Breathe. In today's world of sports cars, it's becoming harder and harder to find the visceral connection true enthusiasts want. Between turbocharging, dual clutch transmissions, and computer systems that take the skill out of driving, it's becoming few and far between to find that ultimate driver's car. On today's episode of the Target Trophy Ride Check, we're gonna take a car that fills that void, a car that people were clamoring for for years. We're talking about the 2016 Porsche Cayman GT4, dialed up to 10 by BBI Autosport. So we are in the Porsche Cayman GT4. This also happens to be my personal GT4. Everybody's kind of wanted this GT version Cayman ever since the platform came out in 2006. It's definitely been worth the wait. Very unique when you stack it up against everything else Porsche has to offer, high or low. Let's get into some of the details. You know, obviously this is a 3.8 liter flat six. Taken from the Carrera S, 385 horsepower, so this is not your normal GT engine from the GT division. Uh, Six-speed manual, no PDK option. Probably one of the best manual transmissions that's ever been made is in this car from any manufacturer. Another thing that goes along with that is gearing that is a bit longer than normal. You deal with the long gearing as it relates to driving this car and it's fine. If anything, it actually is what makes, what makes this car work. Moving forward to the suspension, it's directly right off the GT3, which in a short wheelbase, lighter weight package like this, just makes everything work better. Rear suspension is bespoke to this GT4. From the interior, you know, this is sort of your standard Cayman layout, obviously badged with the GT4 badging on the tack. This particular version, I had no choice when I picked this car up. I got a call from some friends of mine over at Porsche San Diego when this car came available. It was sort of a take it or leave it situation. So I had to take this car with no lightweight buckets and no carbon ceramics, which actually for my purposes is just fine. So I drove this car stock for a good four months or so before I started getting into the, the platform you see here. The GT4 setup is definitely great, but there is another level you can go. As I started taking a look at uh, kind of what I wanted to do with this, moving into the BBI Street Cut package made a lot of sense. The BBI Street Cut platform basically is a derivative of what makes any 911 Cup car work. You're talking about removing the rubber bushings off of your linkage system on the suspension to go to spherical metal on metal bearings. Also comes with some suspension tweaking, toe links, end links and whatnot. New spring ratios and springs. It got rid of the uh, 20 inch stock wheel and tire setup, went down to a 19 inch uh, forge line, track focus setup. Uh, another cool addition that goes with this BBI street cut package is the custom BBI wing extender for the rear wing. Not too tall, but the perfect height to give this thing that real aggressive look and add a little bit of functional downforce as well. And one of the biggest things that we did to this car that really kind of transformed the whole experience is adding the uh, BBI race headers to the engine on the stock exhaust. This thing at throttle is unreal. One of the best sounding cars I've ever heard. And every time people hear this car on throttle, it's nothing but compliments. Another key element that we upgraded on this car because it comes with that GT3 braking package, we've uh, taken it to the next step and added the uh, Brembo race pads and fluids for extra bite. And then for that final cherry on top of this setup, went with the full custom livery that we designed, applied by Modern Image, transformed this car to straight up race vibes for the street. The GT4 driving experience is fully driver focused to the maximum degree. You know, when you get into a 991.1 GT3, because of that PDK gearbox, it brings a level of civility to the cars that you didn't have before in GT3s. Subsequently, that makes them very easy to drive around town. But this car, I have driven this car daily and uh, I, it kind of sucks. Just the fact that you have to shift all over town, clutching, the stiffness of the car, it's just not fun on the day to day. And this car wants to be revved out, wants to corner hard. 
it just really wants to be driven hard all the time. And that's what it was made for. We're gonna sweat the technique. This thing is fantastic. So it's the GT4 from Porsche. It's a very capable car out of the factory. Some people may argue that the 911 is better. I don't know. This thing definitely has something to say in that fight. It's super balanced. It has plenty of power in my opinion. It sounds great. And then you've got all the modifications that are done to this thing. The whole setup is done so well that the car feels much more planted and has, like it has a ton of grip. It's very reliable but you can still get it to dance around if you want to. It's so confidence inspiring and it's such a comfortable car to drive quickly, which is something that's maybe a little anti-Porsche and what a lot of people are used to in the 911 being a little bit difficult to drive fast. This thing is just, it's refined, it's balanced. It's not out to kill you and it's very user friendly in a way that the 911 just isn't. And I think that makes this a very special car especially set up the way that this is. One thing that I've never really liked about this car is that it's a manual. And that's not to say that manuals are bad because I know a lot of people out there vastly prefer them to a traditional automatic. Everything is going automatic these days. Yes, it takes a little bit of the skill out of it. I will give you that. But to me, it just makes it so much easier to drive, especially when you're from Los Angeles like we are, and you're sitting in traffic 95% of the time. From the factory, the GT4 is a really strong competitor to just about everything in the price range. And with these little upgrades from BBI and from Ford's line, this car is a monster and something that I would absolutely love to own. And like I said, give me a PDK Porsche and I will buy one from you tomorrow. Most journalists consider this car definitely one of the best cars to come out in 2016, if not the best car. It's got an amazing price point with an amazing package of performance that comes with it above and beyond anything that's at that sort of, let's just call it 100K realm. The real test of this car that, that shows you how good it is, is that when you master what it can really do, it's as good as anything on the road. The only thing you'd be missing is horsepower, but at a certain point, that's part of the fun. If you know how to drive it, you really can keep up with some of these cars that have much more on paper, and that's really rewarding. So when you sum up this Cayman GT4 Street Cup, it really does bring out all the best elements you want out of a driver's car. It's a package that not only looks great, drives great, and is on par with some of the best driving cars you will ever get behind the wheel of. It's one of the reasons why I have no plans on getting rid of this car anytime soon. And it's also the reason why we all can agree it's 100% Target Trophy approved.